was all a wish, a dream, an idea that I wanted to get into the film industry and also work for my community, also helping youth and helping elders. It all became something that I thought was um, impossible at one point because of my selfish ways coming from an addict background, coming from you know being pressed down from society, being pressed down from the people in my family, people in my community, because a lot of the stuff that is going on now is totally impossible as a kid, you know, years back. Hi, I'm Lauren Anthony. I'm based out of Galt, New Mexico, right on the borderline of the Navajo Nation. In 2015, Lauren Anthony was one of several Native actors who walked off the set of Adam Sandler's movie, The Ridiculous Six. After racially insensitive lines in the script and Native stereotypes on the set incited him to leave. Anthony, who was told he would never work in the industry again, proved everyone wrong. Five years ago, I walked off the film Ridiculous Six. It was a choice that I made personally. To make that choice of walking off, there was some consequences to it. There was some threats that had happened. One of them were, you know, producers, people in the industry telling me that myself, I will never work in Hollywood ever again because of that incident. Of course, nobody wants people walking off from a job, but if a job pertains to having a disrespect to people, your culture, your native women, and all the things that you stand for, then, you know, I, I would rather be that person who never sold out their people and just take that higher road of like, okay, well, if I don't ever work in the film industry again, at least I knew that I made an impact at that point, that I made the right decision, that I did follow my heart and trust my gut on what needed to be done. So that was five years ago. Now, since then, I'm, I'm 28 films in this industry now. Just getting back from Los Angeles, California, just a couple days ago, shooting my first feature film out in Hollywood as a lead actor. For me, it was uh, just true grit, believing in myself, believing in the people that believe in me as well, all my supporters, all my friends, all my family that really have stuck with me since day one. Those are the people that really matter to me that kept me grounded. As a member of the Navajo Nation, Lauren Anthony feels representation is everything. You know, being a native person myself of the Navajo Nation, it's important for this representation to happen because there are a lot of res kids out there that grew up just like me, watching TV from an antenna in the middle of nowhere and just wanting to be somebody, just wanting to be seen. And so when you see somebody else that looks like you on TV or on in movies, it's, it's a feeling that's um, beyond describable because we hardly and ever see any representation of Native people. We deserve those spots. We deserve to be recognized. We deserve all of the wonderful things that are out there, and I really believe that we can do it. One thing Anthony feels strongly about is reaching out and helping his own community. One of the community things that I do is called Chidge for Chain, which stands for firewood for grandpa. Uh, we don't only help our grandpas, we help our grandmothers too here in the Navajo Nation. We try to focus on high risk elders on the Navajo Nation who have no fixed income, who have no family help resources to help them out with like getting the firewood themselves. So we go out every year to collect firewood and deliver it to families to elders in need. When we got into doing Chish for Che for uh, 2019 and we wrapped up in March of this year, COVID happened. So right after that, we just transitioned into doing mutual aid for Navajo Nation. And providing mutual aid on Navajo Nation was providing 700 food boxes, 700 cases of water, 700 cases of cleaning supplies and sanitation items for our Navajo elders and families. Because COVID hit a lot of our families pretty hard. It, during the month of June of 2020, I lost eight friends to COVID and it was one after another. So it was um, a very personal battle for me. Life, you know, it's it's crazy how things come about. Uh, but the thing was to push forward and to push forward was also to take care of yourself physically. And because I'm a big gym rat, the gyms close in March as well. So I was also out of, you know, this, this resource of finding therapy through working out and I needed to find ways to help me get back on track. 
So I created uh, my backyard workouts, which entitle, you know, lifting railroad ties, chains, bars, tires, big rocks, and I was just repping them out. So check this out. Something really awesome happened during my time with the backyard workouts. Ben's Health Magazine, national publication, international, worldwide on the web, hit me up and said, hey, we want to put you in our magazine. So. I didn't know how to take that. I was like, really? Because I thought it was a joke, but it became out to be a real reality when we had the full crew here shooting back at the backyard and we did our workouts and it was the most amazing experience I ever had. But I'm really happy to bring another level of representation because I'm gonna be the first native guy to be featured in a fitness magazine, uh, first Navajo to be featured in a fitness magazine. So I'm really happy and thankful for um, men's health magazine for reaching out and having me a part of this no matter what situation you're in you can do it you can get back into shape you can find health and the, the resources that you have around your home just finding two gallons of water and lifting that thing uh, there's ways to do it there's if, if you have the will there is a way i really appreciate you watching this segment i'm lauren anthony i send you all my strength all my love and may you be blessed every day of your life remember don't give up Native Indian country out there. We are strong, we are resilient, and we are awesome and beautiful. You guys have an awesome day.